Hey everyone. Hi Yensters. I've missed seeing you all in person. Oh, but I'm so glad we get this opportunity to be together here through our screens digitally. So let's let's just be happy that we can get our yin practice in. So I hope you all are doing well, taking care of yourselves, and finding your new normal. So new routines, new temporary normal. It's all good. We'll be We'll get out on the other side better and stronger than we were to begin with and maybe even have a much better perspective when all of this is over. So as we prepare for Yin, a couple of just little housekeeping things. If you'd like to have music in the background, I encourage you to go get your own music, turn on your phone, whatever it is you like to use. We found it doesn't really come through the screen. Um, as well as we'd like it, or at least as well as I'd like it to, it's a little distracting. So if you like to use music, go ahead and bring your own music. As far as props go, we can do this entire class without props, but if you like to use them, um, you have plenty of things around the house if you don't have your own yoga accessories at home. So in place of a bolster, just grab a couple of pillows, maybe a couple different sizes, depending on, um, just to give you options, what you like to do. For your yoga blanket, you can just get a rolled up beach towel or two. This is just a little yoga blanket here, but uh, maybe a couple rolled up beach towels. And then in place of a block, again, you could use a smaller pillow. A couple pillows uh, in different sizes are just nice, just to give you options. Or you could even use a book if you want to. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin today as I typically do with a heart opening pose. So again, you can do this flat on your back or you can put your uh, pillow or bolster behind you. I'll show you using the bolster. So our reclining bound angle, you can bring the soles of your feet together, creating a nice diamond here between, uh, between your legs. And then just slowly begin to lower your body on to the pillow or bolster adjusting as necessary so you can get nice and comfy so this should feel good here like you want to hang out here for a good long time and take a nap so wiggle around till you get just the right position if you want a little support for either if it's uncomfortable to have your knees open like this you can take your uh, block book blankets and provide a little support underneath the outside of your thigh I'm going to use my blanket today as a little pillow for my head. So just placing it on the back of my head, leaving my neck long and open here. Let your arms drape out to the side. And just begin to shift your focus inward. Bring your attention inward. Find your breath. of your body and notice any areas where you're um, resisting, where you're tensing, where you uh, feel stress, maybe you've got some injuries that are bothering you. Um, just pay attention to those. don't have to focus on them, but pay attention to them and be kind to yourself. Do what works for you today. And then we'll begin to just settle into our breath here not changing it at first, just becoming aware. to lengthen and deepen our breath here. And the 
way we'll do that is as you inhale through the nose, just fill your belly with air, right? Think of a newborn baby. When you see them breathe, you just see their belly rising and falling. Deep belly breaths, not real constricted up here in the chest. So on the inhale, as you inhale, fill your belly, expand with air. Pausing at the top and on the exhale, feel your belly button drop towards your spine. Nice long inhale. a few rounds to your breath count. Try to make your exhale one or two counts longer than your inhale. Just returning to your normal, comfortable rate of breathing. And with each exhale, just notice if you don't feel your lower body relaxing a little more. Maybe your hips relaxing and opening up. Maybe you feel your knees falling a little closer to the ground here. Just pay attention to those sensations. prepare to come out of this pose, use your hands to support your legs, gently guide your knees to the sky, your feet flat on the mat, and then we'll begin to roll to one side off of your bolster or pillow if you're using that, scooting them out of the way, and making our way down onto our backs, so all the way on your back, take your legs wide, Take your arms wide, our starfish pose, pentacle pose here. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And then we'll move to our banana pose. So crossing your right ankle or letting your right ankle join your left, you can go ahead and cross your ankles if that still allows your hip to stay grounded bringing your hands behind your head. Inhale, lift your upper body and scoot your upper body to the left as well, making that nice banana shape. You should feel that nice stretch um, all the way down the right side of your body, across the top of your hip, creating a little space here between our ribs on the side, the intercostals. So take a breath or two here and notice if you need to adjust. So if you feel no sensations, 
you can take this pose a little deeper by uncrossing your legs, scooting them an inch or two to the left and recrossing your legs. Just make sure that this right hip, your right glutes, everything still stays flat to the ground. If it begins to roll up, then you've gone a little too deep, you need to back off. So find your spot here. Arms can stay behind your head, you can take cactus arms, or you can even drape that right arm over your forehead, grab onto your wrist, and get a little deeper stretch in the upper body. Once again, scan and feel if you're tensing or squeezing somewhere. Even in the back, allow everything to just be soft and melt into the mat here. more breaths here. Crossing your legs, bringing your body back to the center of your mat. Take that right knee, hug that right knee into your chest. On the inhale, press the back of your left heel into the mat. On the exhale, just draw your right knee in towards your shoulder. A couple of rounds here. transition to half of a happy baby. So bringing your right hand, grabbing the outside of that right foot, your ankle, your calf, wherever you are today, drawing that foot toward the sky. Allow your knee to sink towards the mat. Your left leg is still long, left arm is out to your side, just relaxed here. giving your hips time to open up here. Everybody thinks happy baby is a nice relaxing pose, but it's not always relaxing for everyone, especially if your hips are tight. This is the beginning of our yin practice, so we haven't really opened them up too much yet. So using your breath and just each exhale, softening into that hip maybe your inner thigh, depends where, where your tightness is today. Know that you can always adjust and grab on to the back of your thigh if that works better for you today.
gently releasing that right foot back to the mat. Take that leg long to meet the left. Nice and slow, take that long body stretch. Pointing your toes. And releasing and coming back to that starfish pose. Arms and legs wide. This time we'll repeat that and we'll take our banana pose to the right. So left ankle crosses over the right. Shifting your upper body to the right and settling in here. Relax the back of your body. Relax your glutes. center and draw that left knee into your chest once again inhale press the back of the right heel into the mat exhale draw your left knee to your shoulder here heading to that half of a happy baby on the left side so drawing the sole of your left foot to the sky again grabbing wherever you're able today maybe it's your ankle your calf wherever you are that's fine let your right arm come out to the side nice deep inhale exhale feel your hips soften
couple more breaths here. And then slowly release that left leg. Take it long to meet the right. One last long body stretch. Maybe hug your knees in if that feels good to you here. Even rock a little side to side. And then rolling over, gently make your way up to seated. So take your time. We've been on our backs for a good long time here. Coming up to seated. So having, we're going to head to our wide leg forward fold. So having maybe a pillow or a block or whatever props, even your bolster, whatever you have that you like to use for this. And taking your legs wide, whatever is comfortable for you here. You can take your rolled up towel and use it as a little um, little support to sit on. It's nice to sit on, elevate your hips just a little bit so as we begin to forward fold, it just facilitates uh, shifting our whole pelvis forward. So whenever you're ready, nice inhale, creating as much length in the spine as we can. And on the exhale, just begin to walk your arms forward. So we're coming to our first edge. So edge does not mean as far as you can possibly go. Edge means where you begin to feel some resistance and you have sensation. So that's our edge. Our edge can change throughout the pose. You know we're here for a good bit of time so just find your beginning spot. I like to use uh, some support in the beginning and begin to relax. Maybe taking those scans, finding your breath, and on each exhale, begin to soften. So make sure your shoulder blades go down your back. The next exhale, just feel that exhale traveling down your spine, landing at the top of your hips. Relaxing your hips. Relaxing your thighs, your quads. Make sure you're not squeezing or tensing. Knowing, of course, you don't need my permission, but you are allowed to have bent knees. Sometimes this is painful on the back of our knees, so make whatever allowances feel good to you. Coming back to our breath. as we're in for a while if your body hasn't opened up and created a little more space so you're always allowed to adjust while we're here maybe going deeper maybe backing off a little bit learning to listen to our body and recognize the signals that you can move and adjust As always following your breath and remembering not to force or hold or push your body 
to look any way that you think it should look. Just be here, relaxing, softening, allowing a natural release to happen. slowly begin to make our way out. So ever so slowly, walk your hands back, coming all the way up to seated. Just pausing here for a moment, noticing any sensations. And then taking a gentle twist to the right, drawing your right arm behind, left arm in front, keeping your legs right where they are. Slowly coming back through center and heading to the other side. Just a gentle twist to release. back to center. Use your hands to gently bring your legs back and then turning lengthwise on our mat if you're not already. We'll head into our next pose. So um, half of a forward fold if you will. So bringing your right foot, take your left leg long, bring your right foot to your inner thigh again. Supporting this knee if that feels better to you. I often find that placing a blanket or something under the thigh versus the knee feels um, a little better, but you do what works for you. So we're gonna slightly rotate our torso so that we're in line with this our uh, leg here. Inhaling your spine nice and tall for length. On the exhale, begin to walk your hands forward same concept as before, hinging from our hips, slowly walking your arms. Keep a nice bend in your knee if your hamstrings are super tight. As you're here longer and relaxed, you'll find that your knee will begin sinking closer to the mat. Find your first edge, and if your neck is healthy, you can just let your head hang towards your knee. You can provide a little support with your pillow if that feels better to you here. Your spine is rounded as you settle in here. Relaxing your shoulders. Make sure you're not tensing or squeezing in this right thigh area.
more space here. Or maybe you need to back off a little bit. We've got about another minute here. Using your hands for support, slowly, ever so slowly, begin walking yourself back up to seated. Pausing at the top here. And then we'll move right into our um, hip opener. We're going to take this right leg. We're going to cross it over that extended left leg. So we're heading to shoelace, or you can, um, or you can do half of a shoelace. So lots of options here. I'm going to turn around so you can see better. So you can, well, maybe sideways. You can, <laughs> you can keep your left leg extended long like this. Just cross that right knee over, working towards stacking your uh, knees. You can also just keep this leg wide for like a figure four. Alternatively, you can bend this bottom leg and bring it underneath. So now our knees are working towards stacked. Make sure both of your sits bones are still on the ground. If this knee is way up here and it's a little uncomfortable, you can use those folded up blankets for a little support between your knees if your knees, um, to make them a little happier here in this pose. So this is a, a deep hip opener here. So be kind to yourself. It uh, can be a little uncomfortable at first. So find the version that works for you. But as you're here, you'll find your body um, acclimating. So you can just stay right up tall like this. Hang out here, relaxing the low body. You have an option to add a side bend if you like. Either direction. Whichever direction, again, feels better to you. Choose one. Or you can take eagle arms and get a little shoulder stretch. So I'm going to show the eagle arms today. I have left arm on bottom. It doesn't really matter. Just know that you'll reverse on the other side. So whichever arm is on bottom, you'll just switch it up the next time. So back of your palms are either together or maybe your hands are wrapping and the front of your palms are together. Either way, as you inhale, feel that expansion between your shoulder blades. Lift your elbows a little. Continue to breathe, yet still relax that low body. So focus your attention on your low body, keeping your low body relaxed. Trying not to squeeze or tense any of your muscles down here. Alternatively, you can add a forward fold with this, either with your eagle arms or not. Just be certain that as you forward fold, you still keep your sits bones grounded and you don't allow the weight to shift forward into your knees. If you feel any discomfort in your knees, then the forward fold isn't for you. You should back out.
slowly begin coming out of the fold if you were there. As we come out of this pose, just begin to shift your weight back. Bring your hands behind you, slowly uncross your legs, and maybe just gently shake them a little bit, bringing the blood flow back, letting your knees move again. And then we'll head to the other side. So here, remember, we'll take our right leg long, left foot comes to the inner thigh, left inner thigh, rotate your torso ever so slightly over that right leg, inhale for length, exhale, hinging forward, so you begin to feel that resistance, and then let your head be heavy, let the weight of your head round your spine, arms on either side of that long right leg, and just melting into this half of a forward fold. if you need to make any adjustments here. Settling back in. Just being fully aware of the different sensations. So the best thing about yin is that it just really, really trains us to become so aware of our body and what's going on and just marinate in these sensations. Following the breath, just feeling your breath moving, feeling the breath moving through your body. Just total body awareness and acceptance where everything else just disappears. And we're just here with intentional stillness. Again, using your hands for support ever so slowly, begin to unroll your spine, coming back to seated, pausing for a moment at the top, and then transitioning to our shoelace on this side. Taking the version on this side that works for you, recognizing that 
both of our sides are not completely symmetrical. One hip is more open, one knee is more cooperative, however that goes. Just working with where your body is today. Taking your version of shoelace. And making that decision what you do with your arms again today, just, or this time around. Alongside your side bends, or perhaps your eagle arm. if you're going to add your bow or your forward fold on this side. Shifting your weight back into your sit bones if you do fold forward. folded forward it's much harder to do here we have to be much more intentional about releasing our hips Once again, if you're folded slowly, use your hands for support. Begin to make your way back up to seated. Leaning back onto your arms, your hands, uncross your legs. Ooh, give a gentle little wiggle to your legs and your knees. Get that fluid in your knees pumping again. Maybe taking a nice upright child's pose right here for a breath or two. knees make our way down onto our belly bring a pillow or block or bolster or whatever you have we're heading into our sphinx pose so 
lowering yourself down, maybe beginning on your forearms. So again, we do have options here. You can begin with your elbows roughly underneath your shoulders, your legs are long behind you, tops of your feet on the mat. You can take your legs a little wider here. It's again, we're not quite as concerned with how far apart your legs are. Just let your feet and your ankles relax. As you take a nice inhale, kind of lift your, push the ground away with your elbows, inhaling, creating that length in your spine. And as you exhale and soften and release, just feel that gentle compression in your low back. Tiny little back bend here. And you can just hang out here. So you have options. Your gaze is forward and down ever so slightly. If you have a block or pillow and you want to support your head, you can rest your forehead on your block or pillow noting that that really allows the upper part of your body to relax and when your upper body relaxes your lower body immediately follows so this may be a good option to allow you to feel this more in the low back if it's a little too much you can always walk your arms a little bit forward or you can even come flat make a pillow for your hands place your forehead here you're still getting the same benefits it's still a little back bend your version of Sphinx right here. into the mat here.
going to lower yourself all the way down to the mat, resting on one cheek. Bring your arms down alongside your body. Let your shoulders just roll forward. If you like, you can bend your knees and just ever so slowly, windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Nice, gentle release of your low back. Finding stillness here. Lower your legs. Bring your chin to the mat. Begin placing your hands, planting your hands underneath your shoulder blades. Nice and gently begin to lift yourself, peel yourself up off the mat to all fours. And we're gonna move as slowly as we can. We're gonna sink back towards our child's pose. So go super, super slow, enjoy the ride. See how slowly you can just begin to shift your hips back all the way towards your heels. Knees can be apart or together, whatever works for you. Ever so slowly feel that stretch one vertebra at a time as your hips come to meet your ankles. Of course, using any supports that you like, your bolster underneath your chest, if that feels good to you. If you need a little support between your calves and your thighs, take your rolled up beach towel and place it there. We'll hang out in our child's pose, our last pose before Shavasana.
so slowly we'll begin making our way use your hands slowly walking yourself back up scooching off onto your hips take your legs out in front of you so take your legs nice and long sitting up straight in our staff pose for just a breath or two feel those sensations And then we'll begin to make our way down onto our backs for our Shavasana. If you like, you can put your pillows underneath your knees. It's a nice support on your low back. Gently make your way down onto your back. Our final resting pose. A chance to incorporate all of that work from the last hour, allow it to assimilate into our bodies. Complete rest and relaxation here. Nice deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. And just sink in here. Relax the muscles in your face and your jaw. That little space between your eyebrows. Feel that space between your ears and your shoulders. And just feel the rhythm of your breath. Softening gently, completely and deeply, just letting go. Bring a little gentle movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists, your ankles, maybe a long body stretch, gently awakening your body, rolling yourself over to your side, and ever so slowly making your way up to seated. Join me for one last moment together. Maybe keeping our eyes closed. Nice inhale together. And let it go. Inhaling our arms above our head. Exhale, bringing our palms together, coming to our heart center. So much gratitude my opportunity to be able to share this practice with you. I hope you feel better. I know I certainly do. Thank you so much for taking time to take care of yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, your heart.
until I see you all again from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Like I said, I feel better. I hope you do too. Can't wait to do it again sometime. Bye.